Hello there, my name is Richard McMunn from the interview training company PassMyInterview.com and in this interview training tutorial I will teach you how to pass an airport passenger service agent interview. So I'm going to give you five questions that I pretty much guarantee will come up during your interview and more importantly I will give you top scoring answers. Now before I get into the tutorial, very warm welcome to this airport passenger service agent interview. My name is Richard McMahon, that's me there in the centre and I've been helping people for 20 years now to pass their interviews by giving you top scoring answers you can't find anywhere else. On that basis, please do make sure you subscribe to my career vids channel by clicking the button below this video and then you won't miss out on any of the weekly training videos. We have about 200,000 subscribers now within our community and lots of you, and I mean literally lots of you, are passing your job interviews as a result of these videos. Please do hit the like button and that always tells me that you enjoy the content and therefore I feel motivated to create more videos for you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get straight into it. Let's cover the five airport passenger service agent interview questions and answers. Here we go. Question number one. So tell me about yourself and why you want to become an airport passenger service agent. Now, as you and I know, this is a highly responsible role. It is a customer facing role and you have to deal with passengers in a variety of different situations. So we want to get you off on the right footing during your interview. And here is my suggested answer. I am someone who takes great pride in my work and I prefer to work in a customer facing role where providing great service is really important. I get the most job satisfaction from working as part of a wider team where brand reputation is vital. I want to become an airport passenger service agent because after reading the job description in detail, I feel the skills, the qualities and the attributes necessary to perform to a high standard are a match for my own experiences and expertise. Now within this role, you have to be punctual, you have to represent the airline in a positive manner and also provide outstanding passenger service. I can do all of these things and if you hire me, I will be a good role model for the airline whilst going about my duties. So if you use that kind of response at the start of your interview to the tell me about yourself question, then that gives you the confidence to then move forward for the remainder of your interview. So the next question would be, so what has attracted you to our airline? Here is my suggested answer. Three things have attracted me to your airline. The first thing is, after studying you online and looking at your mission, you want to provide brilliant service to your passengers and you obviously genuinely care about their experience once they arrive at the airport. Now the second reason is you are a commercially responsible airline who takes the impact of climate change seriously. And on that basis, I would feel proud to be a part of your team. Finally, it appears that you are very supportive and encouraging of all of your staff. And on that basis, I feel I will be able to grow, develop and thrive in my role as an airport passenger service agent with your airline. Question number three, when have you provided exceptional customer service? So as I said at the start of the video, within this role, it's customer facing and you have to deal with passengers in a variety of situations. And don't forget, as the service agent, the passenger service agent, you are the first person they will come into contact with when they arrive at the airport. So you have to give a good impression. Here is my suggested answer. In previous jobs, I was always required to provide great service. For example, one day I had to deal with a customer who was late for their table booking slot at the restaurant I was working for. Their table had all, already gone and there was no more room available. They had booked the table for a special occasion with their partner and they were clearly upset they had missed the table booking time. I decided to go above and beyond to try and get them seated. I looked around the restaurant to find a small enough space to add an additional table without disturbing the other diners. After a couple of minutes searching, I found a suitable location and the couple were able to have their meal after all. I love going out of my way to provide great service and I would always make sure I represented your airline in a positive way as the airport passenger service agent. So that's great because I've given an actual specific situation where I've really provided great service and that's the important bit. I've gone above and beyond what would be normally required and that's what you should do with your answer. Next interview question, how would you deal with a difficult or irate passenger at the airport ticket desk? Now, once you work in this role, you will have to um, tackle this kind of situation on a regular basis. So sometimes passengers are late for their flight, they might have missed 
the flight, the gate might be closed and they might become irate. So how do you deal with this situation? Here is a brilliant answer to this question. I would deal with them by remaining calm, having a positive approach to how I communicated with them, being confident in my abilities to resolve the situation and above all, remembering that I am representing your airline. I would also ensure I maintain control of the situation throughout my communication with the passenger. I would start off by listening to them, asking them probing questions to get to the bottom of the issue quickly, and then look for ways to sort out the problem if I was able to. I would always follow the training I would have received when I started as an airport passenger service agent, and I would use positive body language and a tone of voice whilst dealing with them. I am confident I would be able to deal with all situations. However, if I was ever unsure or if I felt the situation was deteriorating, I would speak to my supervisor for advice and guidance. So that shows that you know what you're doing even before you start the job as a passenger service ticket agent. Next question. A customer or passenger misses their flight. What would you do? So even though you will be given training, this is assessing you know, what you know about this kind of service and also getting you to think on your feet of what you would do in this kind of situation. Here we go. I would, above all, follow my training and the operational procedures laid down by the airline. Now, if the gate was closed, I would inform the passenger there would be a need for them to book on the next available flight, and I would start to look for alternative options for them. I would explain to them that the safety of all passengers was paramount, and that it's important to get to the gate on time in the future to ensure the proper safety procedures and checks were implemented. I would act positively and reassuringly while serving the passenger, and I would reassure them that this unfortunate incident would be over soon once we'd found them an alternative flight to get them to their destination as soon as practically possible. What I like about that answer is you are you are being positive throughout. You are saying, look, you know, I'm going to be positive. I'm going to sort out this situation for them. And I'm going to focus not on the negative aspect that they have missed their flight, but let's get them to their destination and be positive about the situation. Now, if you'd like to download, download my full set of airport passenger service agent interview questions and answers, if you click that link in the video where it's just appeared, it will take you through to my website, passmyinterview.com. There are more questions on there I want you to prepare for. You can download my guide as well if you want to. Um, and that gives you the answers, these answers I've provided you with, and a full set to every question that I believe could come up during this interview. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out and hit the like button. Thank you very much. And I wish you the best for passing your interview. Have a brilliant day. Thank you.